We had some serious things going on in the country recently. And uh is what it is. It is what it is. But for yo. Did you bring me my money? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Every time she comes, I'm gonna ask about my money and y'all gonna <laughs> make some more money than me. And I'm gonna have a discussion about some real things in life. Don't touch me either. <laughs> uh. So, What'd you go to school for? Um, I got my bachelor's in psychology. Psychology. Mm -hmm. So you heard what happened in the country recently, right? Yes. And it affected my mental really heavily. So I really want to talk about this and like present it to you guys. So she went to school for psychology. She's a carrier. I would say my money, but she's paying for it now. But we're gonna be serious about this. I don't really need to be part of this video because um, mental health doesn't affect me. I'm probably one of your most normal people you will ever meet. That was on cue. But seriously, I I don't, there's problems that go on in the post office. We have problems in our life. And I talked to you guys about being supervisors later on and escalating and trying to give back. Just remember, we're trying to build a community. I'm reaching enough people. The change starts with you. But until that change happens, I don't have the answers to this. Apparently. She does. So I'm going to step out <laughs> and allow her to talk. Oh, no. By myself? Go for it. What you want to talk about? Okay. So I'm no, I'm not certified. I'm not, I have no affiliates with this, but I want everybody to know because a lot of people watch my dad, vid watch my dad's videos and they feel that my dad helps them with what they're going through in the post office and everything else in between how to get in how to do everything so i just want to let everybody know that if you're struggling with any mental health issues um child care um elderly care um work life balance the post office has a program called the EAP, which stands for Employee Assistance Program. And I'm sure I saw everybody in the comments, you know, um, tagging them, or not tagging them, but commenting that the EAP is important. So we're gonna make a video about it. Um, the EAP really helps people with, you know, Uh, mother, I'm scared. Okay, we're gonna cut that out, right? I hope so. That's her phone. You know what? I'm just gonna read my paper because I have a paper. Okay. Edit this stuff. Yes. So we all know that working for the post office has its positives and negatives um, when it comes to stressors, and everybody has different ways that they handle their stress, right? But my dad helps you to get into the post office and then you're in and you feel like you're ready, but then you have to work seven days a week, six days a week. Um, you don't have time to go to sleep. You don't have time to spend with your kids, your friends. You have no social life. Um, so like the question that you tell yourself is like, now what? Right. And for example when i started the post office i didn't even know about uh the eap um i wish i would have because then i think that i would have you know handled my situation in a different manner but now i'm over the hump and you can too um with help so what i have here is that 
everyone is different with their stress and it's nice to have tools that can help you. Um, the EAP, um, they provide counseling, suicide prevention and child care and many more. Um, we all know what happened with the carrier that quote unquote went postal. Um, it sucks because what if someone could have helped him or her, we don't know who it is, um, balance their life. We don't know anything about it that much, but I'm sure they do, and I'm sure that the EAP could have helped. Um, it's free. Um, you can call their number. I think it's 24 hours, and um, just talk to somebody. Please go out and talk to somebody because you come first. Before this job, before anyone, you come first. And um, the number, if you don't know, is 800 EAP for you. That's 800 327 4968. And you can go on their website. I'm going to ask my dad to put the website and the number in the description box. And I hope that every um, video he posts, he can put it in there just in case you need any help. It's nice to talk to people in the comments. It's nice to talk to my dad, but please get professional help. It will help you throughout this whole um, experience of your postal career. Um, and that's it for, for the EAP. I couldn't find your purse to get my money back. <laughs> um, so did you have any time? No, you the center of this. I'm just on the side. Oh. Did you have any times when you felt like this was overwhelming for you? Yes, I remember it was like my second week working and I would come home and I would cry. I Like the first day even, I cried. I called my mom. My dad knew all of my stress because it's a st stressful situation and it pulls you from, you know, your life, your family life, your social life, all your life. And like, you just feel isolated because nobody understands unless they're in it trying to understand why you didn't give me my money back yet. Um, have you, I'm sure, I mean, you've been there for a couple of years. You, when you work at the post office, you start to bond with different people. So I'm sure you have absorbed other people's stress as well. I'm sure you know other people, other carriers, their situation. I heard you talking about child care and it could be anything. It could be mm -hmm. finances, childcare, um, uh, baby daddy problems, baby mama problems, yeah. uh, family problems at home, anything. Uh, what, what did you hear that actually, you know, triggered you, or, or have you heard anything that, um, you know, different scenarios? Because the people that are watching, the key is that you need to know you're not alone. Yeah. Um. Let me think. I don't, I don't want to put too much people's business out there. Um, so. Just random things. What if anything random? Um, just working more than nine days, 10 days straight. Um, I know a carrier that when they started or after a little, bit, a little bit, they were rarely ever in our office. They were set two hours away, um, an hour away, like all of the time and I'm sure that that was pretty stressful and um, can you know because they're not making that much money they're not making as much as the other carriers are that are ahead of him because of the seniority list so when you are at the bottom it's a little it's a lot more stressful for you, you get the grunt yeah you get the grunt of everything they'll send you different places and so imagine you live right next to your to your station, your office, but they're sending you an hour away. Like, you're wasting that much gas. Yes, you get reimbursed, but still, like, you have an hour to get back. You're not going to be able to have dinner. This is a scenario. What if you can't have dinner with your family? You know? You lose weight. You lose, I lost a lot of weight. I look good. That means you're not eating as much, right? No. That means you should have enough money to pay me back. 
Um, when I did start, I lost, I went down to 120. So I did not eat much because I didn't know how to handle the stress. Um, I felt at that moment, okay, so I graduated from college. I didn't, I wasn't doing what I wanted to do out of college. So I got into the post office. So it wasn't my plan. So when it wasn't my plan, my mindset was, I need to get out of here. I need to get out of here. Instead of embracing what it's teaching me, the money, let's be honest, <laughs> and taking it with a grain of salt. Money, you said? <laughs> um, <laughs> um, so with that, I wasn't eating. I didn't have time. I felt like I didn't have time to eat, but you make time for what you want. So prioritize your mental health. Please, things could be, what's the word? Avoided if you prioritize your, your mental health, your physical health, um, your well being in general. Please. Your actions today dictate your future. Whatever it is you do today or don't do today dictates tomorrow it's inevitable that's in every part of your life you forget to put gas in your car today or you put it off today you have to do it tomorrow if you forget tomorrow you run out of gas if you don't take care of you today the weight on your shoulder gets heavier and heavier and heavier and what happens that term that you guys have always heard going postal it's always been a joke it's always been cliche, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like oh. someone's angry in your in your office and they're like, oh, they're gonna they're go gonna postal. postal. But these things actually really happen as we, we know, the article is out. I mean, you guys see my videos, I'm not a happy guy. This is me happy. Um, so the stress from the job compounded with the stress of your everyday life it does take a toll on you and then when you have PPS piss poor supervisors that push down on your shoulders and and you feel like you're gonna break what happens people break the average person breaks that's why military people they usually make it not every place is the same but if you are in one of those places where that stress is hitting you in the shoulders, I mean, everybody's going through it. It pissed me off to see that they minimized this situation. It only shot on the news for, what, a day? Yeah. Maybe a day and a half. It's like, oh, it's under investigation. But because it's underneath the United States Postal Service, the postal inspectors are in it now. So mm -hmm. everybody else is just on the outside, and nobody really knows all of the details. You can say you know some of the details, but you're getting little bits and pieces of hearsay uh, here and there. I posted the link on my community page, and then three or four days later, when they clicked the link, it was no more available. It's crazy. Really? Yeah, they took the link down. Like, it was on one of the news stations. They took, took it down, which means either they're trying to hush it up. Now, this doesn't mean that the post office is horrible altogether. There are ways to make it through it. Um, definitely don't watch my videos if you want to make it through it. Watch somebody funny, Ricky Brando, um, and other people, but not me. Cause I ain't trying to laugh until I get my money. When are you paying me back? I... This is the stuff that makes somebody go postal. <laughs> but I appreciate I'm going to step out. You got any closing words? I just wanted y'all to know that she came to me and she wanted to talk about it, so... I, I, I wasn't going to speak about it. <laughs> no, I don't have that much else to say, but if you are in need of help, please contact the EAP, um, 800-EAP-4-U. Um, it will be in the description box and also the link. I, I, I want to do it like the YouTubers do it. It's going to be somewhere here <laughs> on the screen.
I'm not that advanced yet. I'm still trying oh. to figure out how to turn on my, <laughs> oh. turn on my, okay. my Apple computer. She's, and I don't know how to turn. So there's not going to be a link in the, no. Link in the, link in the, it's not going to be a link anywhere. All right. Well, um, everybody have a good, I don't know when you're going to post this, but have a good day and, um, talk to somebody if you need somebody, um, always have somebody in the post office you can talk to. I know I have a couple, um, we all do. So talk to somebody, talk to the EAP. There's even better help if you're not comfortable with EAP. There's better help. There's talk space, um, and talk to your insurance, find somebody that can help you with any mental health issues that you have. All right. So here was the idea that we spoke about recently on the phone. I don't do social media. She does. She's thinking about doing a YouTube page, not just for the carriers, just for a YouTube community. Because I saw that these chumps were trying to do a uh, podcast for post offices or something. And they, I was like, why are you even trying to take me? Really? But, yeah. <laughs> but we want a YouTube community, not a YouTube community, a, a, a Facebook community with all of you guys. So you guys can just... Uh, Honestly, just bitch and moan to each other. That's what you guys do. But at least you'll all understand what the hell you're talking about. Mm -hmm. A community for you, by you, FUBU. Period. Um, and we're trying to figure it out. So when she figures out, after she pays me back, you guys will be able to go on Facebook and just, I, I'm not saying subscribe because I don't care if you subscribe, but be able to go in there and, and, and chop it up. And, you know, network with people that are going through the same thing you're going through. Yeah. Making the same money that you're making. Mm -hmm. Sleeping with the same people. No. Don't, no. Don't, Should don't I edit that? that? Yeah. Don't do that. You, okay. All right. Um. That about it. Yes. You know, I'm going to say it. Subscribe to the channel. I don't say that. Okay. I don't. I don't care if they subscribe. All right. This yeah. channel is for information. If you do, great. But if you don't is what it is thanks for the support though and we support you too support me by paying me back if if you make it to the end of this video type in the comment section section pay your dad back please <laughs>